What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and of course welcome to this one and only weekend video now today we are in for the one and only block pulls now i've said one and only like five times already we're only like 20 seconds in the video but strength shop have hooked me up like i said in the last video strength shop have sent out some blocks which means i can start my fresh rotation on block pulls over rack pulls because obviously the rack was basically too high for anybody that is new to these videos and doesn't understand why i am bringing in block pulls it's simply just because the rack that i was used to pulling off of is basically too high well i like to say it's too high the reality is i'm I'm just too short so basically i am pulling from like my knee height or kind of maybe just like a centimeter under my knee um and i feel it's just really too high for what i want to get the benefits out of them from so really the reality is i need something a little bit lower so that is why strength shop i do work alongside strength shop so they have been able to be really kind and send me out some new blocks anyway i'll include a little clip of the blocks in this video you will see them anyway obviously we are going to run them up i don't even know what i'm going to take today i'm going to try and look for something between maybe six plates and seven plates for a nice set of four to six reps him um, they are going to be dead stop as well and of course the main aim is going to be just controlling the eccentric of it that's the biggest thing because we want to be able to stay over the bar rather than lean back and just pull it up whereas that was kind of what was happening just because of the height difference between myself and obviously the rack the squat rack or whatever you want to call it where i was pulling from the crash bars anyway so that is really going to be it we are in for block pulls today now what i'm also going to do is i have kind of stuck a little question and answer box up on my instagram so as much as I am in for block pulls today guys I am also in for back so it's going to be pull downs pull ups rows we're also going to do barbell rows so once i put all of the clips together and put a little session together i'm basically just going to do a voiceover we're going to answer quite a few questions maybe four or five six seven maybe even eight questions i don't even know i'm going to pick some good ones anyway i will still answer them on my instagram but i'm also going to pick a few of them answer them in this video cover a few things because i know that you guys have kind of been asking for a q a in that and i don't really like just sitting down doing a q and a. I, I do find that quite boring and of course for you guys for me just sitting answering random questions it is quite boring so what i'm going to do is i will put my session together answer a few questions over it i might include some food in this video i might not but the main purpose for this video is i did say that i was starting block pulls and of course strength shop have sent the block out just in time for today's session strength shop are also sending out some more lock collars which means the weights will stay on the bar for obviously my next deadlift session which will be on saturday in three days time as this video will have went up deadlifts will have been done whether i include it in this video or not i have just kind of been sticking my deadlifts in at the end of the videos but whether i do that this week or whether i don't i'm not even sure yet i might i might not but the main thing is going to be today's session block pulls are in again i am unsure what i'm going to take today but i would like realistically i would like a good session of between six to seven plates it's going to be built of course and the main aim will just be to stay over the bar control the eccentric i am actually fucking ready i am buzzing i have been buzzing the whole week like since they arrived i've just wanted to use them they did arrive a few days ago so i've been like holding off so much because they arrived like literally the day after i'd done deadlifts and i was like i could just go and have a little go but then i was like no you're just gonna wait until the right time when you're fresh when you're ready and then it's go time today i am ready i am fresh so it'll just be a case of seeing what's there and this will be the first session then i will be including it in every single week or between seven to ten days anyway just to make sure that i am keeping them basically in my split anyway in my sessions because i do want to run them up as much as possible to obviously increase my deadlift because where i pull from a block that is really where my kind of sticky point is where deadlift so obviously once i get to the point where i'm at my knee to the lockout that's like my kind of sticky point i'm okay off the ground but then once i get to near enough the lockout that's when it does start slowing down a little bit and i properly need to fight with it. so that is going to be it of course like usual guys i do hope you enjoy this video if you do enjoy it then please don't forget to drop the video a like for me guys subscribe to the channel if you are new because we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers and we are close so don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me guys and let's get on with this block pull session here we go guys we have got the blocks we've got two pairs of blocks now i do believe they do only come in one pair but we've got two pairs here which is allowing me to pull off at 15 inches so basically i don't even know if you can see that right but from here obviously up to here we're pulling from 15 inches it allows me to pull from kind of mid chin which is perfect for me you can obviously stack these up again and pull for my believe 18 inches now one would be around 12 inches 
but it is allowing me to pull from 15 which is perfect for me which allows me to obviously focus on the lockout of my deadlift and of course because I'm getting natural contact with the floor it allows me to stay over the bar and feel a lot better than like standing on a plate obviously like a bumper plate that I would stand on anyway just to get the correct height of course guys I do have a code for strength shop if you want to grab anything off there they do literally sell absolutely everything from obviously weights to racks to straps to chalks to salts absolutely everything guys just anything to literally benefit your training code is simply just Kevy West what I'll do is I will stick it on the screen right about maybe like here or something like that something anyway like that it's just K-H-I-F-I-E-W-E-S-T you can grab anything guys get some money off but that's going to be it I just really wanted to cover these so we have got two pairs for anybody wondering like I said they do come in single pairs I believe or doubles and then you can also get triples and just like that we are back with another voiceover guys of course i did mention that i was going to cover quite a few questions on this but two questions that did pop up that i really just wanted to cover more than anything else obviously if i do get time i'm just going to run it over this session but if i do get time i'll cover a couple more but the first question was that popped up quite a few times that i was really going to leave but then i thought no do you know something i'm just going to be open you guys know that i'm real so i will cover this question in this video and it means that basically you guys will get an insight to see really why i am still where i am today so really the question was or there was there was about three or four questions that were pretty similar so obviously it'll just cover it in one is why i haven't started taking anabolic yet so for anybody that doesn't understand all that that means is why am i still natural why haven't i started taking steroids yet now don't get me wrong i get a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot like so many accusations of already taking gear, taking steroids, taking this, taking that, taking compounds because I'm not getting bigger but I'm getting stronger. Oh, absolutely everything, guys. I get it all the time. But one of the main reasons is like the amount of rubbish, especially on things like Instagram and that, that I get for basically claiming that I take stuff already. That is one of the biggest things that keeps me natural. And even like going back here, this is obviously my top set for block pulls today. But yeah, going back to what I was just saying there, this is one of the biggest things that keeps me staying natural because the fact that people look at what I'm doing and automatically set limitations on their self and obviously set them on me and say that obviously what I do should not be possible natural, should not be possible as a natural bodybuilder anyway, obviously because my training is more so bodybuilding over powerlifting. Um, this is one of the things like it just drives me to obviously be able to see a lot more within myself so obviously like when you think about it even going back to my last video like totaling out at 780 kilo number wise for squat bench and deadlift for reps of course as a natural bodybuilder I just simply don't believe in limitations that's one of the biggest things like I can literally see these sets before I perform them now if I started setting limitations on myself and what I could literally what what like I could be capable of then you would start seeing my progression going backwards you would start seeing me stalling on so many things because I would be like oh no I definitely cannot do that just because I'm natural I have literally dedicated my full whole entire life 365 days a year for the past seven years to what I do so when you put that into perspective I don't go out on weekends I don't go out here I don't go out there I don't take weeks off I don't take months off I literally dedicate my whole entire life to this rubbish now I say it's rubbish I absolutely love it but you get the point people just don't see that side of things people don't see what doesn't happen on instagram everybody sees top sets and thinks all right that's easy that's all he's doing nobody sees every single variable being met every single variable being nailed up towards these sets towards these progressions and see whenever i get like accusations of obviously people being like oh yeah he's taking this he's taking that you definitely can't you can't do that natural you can't do this natural it honestly just drives me to stay natural. I mean, test me 110%. I'd be more than open to be taking tests. I get tested throughout the federation that I compete with every single year. Everybody knows that I'm a seasonal competitor. Now, this does go on to question number two because what I wanted to cover was I've been getting asked so many times what my competition plans are for 2021 as in this season. Now, one of the biggest things is I am unsure yet if I am competing bodybuilding wise this year. I believe I am going to take the year off and then I will be again competing within the BMBF and the DFAC in 2022 where I will be looking to take the pro world title. So that is really the last and final thing that I really, 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 really want to tick off within natural bodybuilding anyway who's to say that i'm not sure what's going to happen after that but that is really one of the biggest things that i do want to tick off so realistically i would like to do 
potentially a powerlifting competition this year, hopefully maybe within the next three or four months, depending what's happening COVID-wise with everything like that and what's happening competition-wise. Also, I would really like to maybe meet up with a couple of people that obviously are experienced in that sport. But that is really going to be it. Bodybuilding-wise, I am potentially, I say potentially, I probably am going to take off this year and give myself basically an extra between eight to ten months in off-season eat like crazy, train like crazy, sleep like crazy, do absolutely everything crazy as per usual. But that is really going to be it, the two main questions that I wanted to cover. And of course, I might just have to title this video one of these questions. But really, these are two questions that I have struggled to be open about simply because I've not really knew what to say or be really open about to you guys. But I thought, you know something, I'm just going to bring it to this video and literally voice over this workout and say everything as I feel like this is coming everything's coming straight from the heart it always does I would never not be real with you guys that's one of the biggest things I always want to be open with every single one of you